It's now May 1st, 2012. I broke my ankle on February 19th, and I had surgery on the ankle on February 28th. And this is what the scar looks like today. There's minimal swelling. You can compare my left foot to my right foot and you can see that there's not that much difference. I don't have the most beautiful ankles in the world anyway and I also broke this right ankle many years ago and this is the result either from a break or I had two serious sprains on my right ankle as well. You can see that there's some swelling on my left ankle and this is the comparison of my right ankle. It also had some injuries, but it wasn't broken recently. The muscles on my left leg seem to be in pretty good shape, and there are many reasons for that, I think. But one is I started exercising that leg as much as I could. I only was in a cast that immobilized the leg for two weeks plus nine days. So that's a little more than three weeks. And for the last five weeks, I've had a removable boot. After the cast came off, and it wasn't a walking cast, I had to use crutches and a scooter, I then, for four weeks, had this big black boot to walk around in. In the last couple of weeks that I was wearing this boot, I started putting pretty much my full weight on it, and the first day I did. I was so confident that I was in good shape that I overdid it. And the next day I had so much pain I wanted to cry. And I found out later that that's normal, that once you start using a leg that was broken the way mine was, the first time you walk on it, you should take it a little bit more easy, easily than I did. Because I think I had more pain than necessary. I think there will be pain anyway, but I think you really probably need to work up to putting your full weight on a formerly broken or a healing broken bone. For a week, I've had this ankle brace. It's kind of like a highfalutin $80 ace bandage. And it helps to stabilize where I was injured. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's very smooth and shiny on the sole of my foot so when I walk around the house on these wooden floors it's a little bit slippery. So I would suggest that the manufacturers make them a little bit safer to walk around in and bare feet or in sock feet or whatever you call this. This resistance band has really helped. I recommend it highly for anybody who has an ankle injury or any kind of injury. It forces your muscles to work. And I find that I have very little pain when I walk. And I really think that this is the key. If you have pain and you're not using these resistance bands, I recommend that you do. They've made all the difference to me. In a couple of weeks, I'll be taking long walks in beautiful places, and I want to be in tip-top shape. So you can be sure that I'm using these resistance bands.